but at least he's in a decent position. He's getting so close, gets taken down here by Waya. Self-destruct over the top here. Doesn't get anybody. Blade out from Erster onto the Anna. Oh, he gets slapped. Oh, what a sweep here. Crystal now into the back line. He's into the transcendence too. Milan ran able to get Erster after he was slapped. Self-destruct here. Crystal now popping his blade. Quickly takes out Michelle. Oh, who threw the self-destruct? Forcing back oh. another one as they're going to be able to get this one if they can quickly get these last couple eliminations. 338 left onto the clock as they're pushing through this final little bit. Just have to get the staggers out onto these last few. Erster trying to get out to the doors as finally Michelle able to get on. Milano just swinging that rocket player around. Finally able to get him out. Silver using the primal rage to try and push people away from the cart as they're finally getting those last few limbs as they should be able to get this here. All but the pulse bomb. They can't get anything with it. T1W big time onto the clock here and LFC, they need a good push themselves. Well, but they have to make this a good push here. Erster coming in with the blade. Dives onto the back and slaps Oh again. my god. Crystal able to get two as he has the nano visor here. His team pushing forward. Chasing after the stragglers that are left. That is absolutely insanity. It's the last team fight scenario here in LSE looking to go ahead into the grand finals to face LGD Gaming. 3% oh! now, and DM finds Crystal upon the re-entry. They are able to get back here, but they're already short. Hey, DM, another one! DM not going to be denied here. Milan ran able to get Lucid, but the overtime meter has already started here. IDK also getting in here, getting the res, keeping his team. They want to see LGD again. Crystal coming back in on the Tracer. Isn't going to be enough, though. They're in such a bad spot here. Barbell and Lucid doing what's needed. Just have to get this Tracer off, and Lucky Future Zenith won't be denied. They'll go back to the championship. They'll see LGD Gaming once again as the Titan continues to push forward as they get themselves back into this championship game. At least gets somebody down, but doesn't do much after that. ZMN able to take him out with a Dragon Strike combo with the Graviton Surge is huge from DMO. There's still a few players left on the point, though, is the only problem. It looks like his team might end up falling here. It's just him and Jason. Somebody's got to get on the point. Oh! They have two left. They have a chance of DMO to get back on. Now you can it's do it, son! Yes! He does get it! They had it almost there, and they're not going to get it, and there's a chance here. For the side of Flag Gaming, they just have to take this first point. A little bit more on this Widowmaker, misses the shot here, and while that happens, Crystal able to force back LFZ here. Maybe as he gets the dive in, Crystal gets two with his dash in, and Unhappy getting two as well. And in that time, too, you've had a combo of grab, dragon strike happen twice, and they've had these ultimates for a while. We'll see what they decide to do now here. Team Flow, as this is going to be maybe their last opportunity, as a great use of the shatter with the self destruct gets four. So they're going to have to just jump off the map and try to get back together again for one more push. <laughs> <laughs> that might be the self-destruct that sends Eminent into Contender's Trials. Push a little bit here, Augmented Authority. And now using those Storm Arrows again is Massey looking for a kill. Oh, way fast! Oh, what a shot! As that should be the one that'll seal this for Augmented Authority. They just have to take out the couple of stragglers that are left. Percentage for the side of Legend Young Beyond. One's able to take out good end, so this might be what they need. Oh, Massey! Yes! What was that shot? Hits an insane shot. And the rest of the team went White Room as well. Kami going in. Oh! Gets two with the stick. What a pulse bomb from Kami. Who cares if there's a Brigitte out on the field? Quick reset coming for Lucky Future Zenith. Have to get Milan run. He gets one here. Erster, though, gets unhappy out of the mech. Erster able to get silver here. IDK get the res too as well as Marvell able to get Milan run. So here's the chance that's needed. Erster still dealing damage. Oh, they get off the cart. Oh, no. W, and they even it up. As he's getting low, but his Brigitte's back into this fight. DM, though, taking out Crystal here. And now Michelle. So here's their chance to flip this. And they do get the flip at 96%. Have to hurry back. Is T1W good? Boop at 99%. They just get back on here. Sound barrier going to be used by IDK. Michelle able to get silver at the start of this one. They're forcing back the rest of this team. But oh, Mulan oh, with a good 
good shield bash and then the shift to get this one here. There's still a chance for the side of T1W Esports. Michelle just trying to deal that damage out. Crystal and Malabrin starting to switch it around. Crystal looking for another one onto the wrecking ball as he finally gets taken out here. They're going to be able to flip this one back over. T1W, somebody just able to get back EMP into the air, but it might not matter. Only one player left in Erstron. The Doomfist trying to desperately get this one down, but they can't get it. And T1W ties it up 1-1. T1W taking a round off of LFC. You've got to be feeling great after. Welcome back to Europe Contenders Trials. Labosco and Blank here with you, getting ready for game number three that we have going on for you on broadcast. GGT and Biscuits versus We Have Org. We Have Org coming in 4 0. T and Biscuits right now 1 and 3. They are on the brink, Blank. For T and Biscuits, they this is a must win for them. If they don't win this one, it's pretty much all but done. And of course, we have Org. If they win, they have sealed their ticket, although they've pretty much already have gotten in themselves. Yeah. That just puts that exclamation mark stamp on it. So let's see if we can get another free one win today so they can add that to the ever, ever winning roster of free one wins. So hopefully they can post that on social media because then you don't have to make another graphic. You can just keep that free one graphic going for absolutely forever. Um, so that would be nice. But yeah, we are getting into game pretty much very much now. So I appreciate you all being patient with us and I hope you have been eating your BGG beans at home. Um, but we'll be getting in the way right about now. Yes, and of course, we already know what the map pool starting for the day is, as we know that we're going to be going to Ilios again. And as far as what we know for We Have Oregon Tea and Biscuits, what are the expectations we should have here? I mean, for We Have Oregon, they've got like, it's it's a fairly new roster. Like, they've got some new players on the team, some old players on the team, but they are very, very clean. And I think their execution style is rapid, absolutely rapid, but... Their DPS players are definitely one to look out for, and the support players just back them up in, in a way that's unreal. Team Biscuits got some pretty, pretty good individual players, but they seem to drop the ball at times when it's not necessary, dropping in ultimates where they might not need to. Uh, their ult economy, um, basically cycling, is not the best. Uh, mm -hmm. So let's see if they have worked on that in this week's scrims or practice. Our head coaches has told them off about it, and we'll see what happens. I think something to consider though for Team Biscuits too is they are a newer team. They've, they've kind of sort of come together here recently. Uh, they were an open division team as well, but as far as getting into contenders trials, you know, there, there is some experience, but maybe not as much as we've seen from other teams. Certainly not as much as we know from the side of We Have or you talk about their support duo too and Kanga Kanga and Kara. They are one of the mainstays for this We Have Org team. And it looks like they're going to go with Anna Lucio at the start here for that. Yeah, Kanga Kanga is an insane wow. Anna, so watch out for him. We did just see an insane Anna with Bocket on British Hurricane, so it's going to be hard to live up to those standards, but <laughs> I'm sure Kanga Kanga can make it. Now, TM Biscuits, they're coming out with a pretty standard composition here, close holding around corners with the McCree to prevent these big targets from coming in. It's going to be especially hard for Zergi to get in there, because at the moment, this composition that we have Orga running just wants to get in and aggravate the front line. So far, Lynx is going to stop them from doing that. Don't underestimate, though, this side of Wehag or, or Zergi on this Doomfist either, but it's Lynx finding IDXD at the start. That's going to give them a little bit of room to start pushing forward here. They do find the Doomfist as well, so 4T and Biscuits, this is the start that they would want to have. They've taken out both DPS. They're going to find themselves the Baby Diva as well, and Lynx just chasing down a little couple players does get slapped. He does have Deadeye and a Diva to protect him, though, but they do start building percentage here for TNB. Well, and this is the problem that uh, with Team Biscuit saw before, and it seems like it's been fixed now. Is a Lynx has been given the support that he needs to, to get in those spines and continue putting that consistent damage. He will have the Dead Eye, not going to be too much use, probably more to get Stomp or Midna out of their mech, or just completely kill the Winston in this case. He doesn't really have a mech, there's no smaller Winston inside there. Uh, but we have Org, they're going to try and get on the point and win with this sound barrier. IDXD really close to his EMP as well. Lynx holding onto that Dead Eye is going to pop it now, looking for some targets. Finds Ooh. one in IDXT from downtown, and now looks and finds himself. Kanga Kanga, we switched off it there, but his flash, he finished it off. And holding on, Team Biscuits already up to 42% here in control. 
Yeah, this looks like a, a very much different kind of team biscuits that we've seen from before. Understand that Lynx can put in the work and they've started to play around him more. So they've got the rest of the team playing on these more supportive roles. We've got the Brigida, we've got Mini Kunga, we've got Webster. I like Mini Kunga on Zenyatta. He's a really good Zenyatta and the Discord all placement has been phenomenal this song this far. Zergi diving in on that top, using the Meteor Strike now, trying to find a target for himself, finds a Winston, gets him low, causes the Primal Rage to be popped. Now going in, diving towards the back line. With that all is Val Master. Midna, though, with his Primal Rage, Whoa! finds two! With that one, got the Diva along with the Brigitte. Lynx, though, looking, almost finds Car, but a good boot pushes him away, and the IDXD finds Val Master in the meantime, and finally going to get their first take is We Have Ore. On 85%, it's still looking pretty good for TM Biscuits. There is a bit of a serious stall there onto Mini Kunga at the end. He was taking a nap. I'm not sure Omnix do sleep, but in this case, he will be snoozing. Now, TM Biscuits, they have the Transcendence. We've got the Sound Barrier. They can use all of this aggressively, but you can't use that Sound Barrier too early because IDXD, although he did go early down in that fight, he retained that EMP, which can completely shut down the Sound Barrier and just rip it completely away from TM Biscuits. Yeah, so still plenty of things to work on. They're about to get a fourth alt up to in the nano boost, and not too far from another alt is Zergi as well. He gets in there, gets the diva low. Link's popping this dead eye here, looking for a target. Nobody's been able to make themselves, but Rotin with the self destruct able to take advantage of all those players just trying to hide from the dead eye. Self destruct in response though, and finds one in Philly. And so you do have the Brigitte out here. Minna getting this the nano boost onto him, chasing down that transcending. Zenyatta in the meantime, Midna in the bubble, jumping back towards the point though here where his team has been falling is the only problem. So it looks like this will be a retake for T and Biscuits after they finish out these last couple of kills. And there's only one ultimate to work for, for we have Org, and it's already up to 90% for T and B. Now, they really want to get Midna out of the way early in this fight, because if he does get that Primal Rage, he'll be able to stall for a little bit longer. Give IDXD time to get this EMP in this next fight, which could cause the recontest. 99% in climbing. Here comes the Meteor Strike. Does Whoa. get two is the only thing. Deadeye in response, though. Doesn't find anything. Does a lot of damage, though, to the Winston, who's in Primal Rage. You do have the Wrecking Ball here to try and stall oh. out for as long as possible, for we have Org. Self-Destruct says goodbye to Hammond, and they will take point number one for the side of T and Biscuits. But, of course, they still have to win one more. But this start is exactly what you want for the side of T and Biscuits. Of course, T and Biscuits, they needed that. That's a massive confidence boost there, and we are all going to have to shake things up a little bit. If we do go on to Well here, which has a very different type of playstyle, because there is that massive environmental hazard in the middle of the map. But again, this is another map where Lynx can shine on the McCree, and we have all going to understand this, and they have to move IDXD over to it. There are so many small corners where the flashback can hit you. I don't think Midna was expecting the huge spike of damage that Lynx was able to provide when he jumped in. Got that flashbang down, dropped into 180. 80 HP and he had to drop back towards his healers. Obviously, they were already taking a beating on point. So TM Biscuits so far splitting their attention really well. And just a reminder for you watching, this is also the patch before the roll goes down to that lower cooldown. So there, there's a little bit of a difference here to the McCree than the live McCree patch. Just something to make note of here as we watch these fights go down. You do have going towards where that small health pack room is the side of T and Biscuits. And they're able to get the Diva here at the very start. Link still looking for another one. Kanga Kanga able to find Fillion, but his team still losing too many. And the flank here, oh, Link's just missed the headshot onto the Zenyatta able to stay alive and his team will still get this one because he forced everybody back and then the rest of his team followed up into it and team biscuits building up here on point number one and then they take out zergi there at the end on the brigitte staggered out pretty hard Lynx is so aggressive, plays very, very well, and, and I like that Team This is starting to support him, but this feels like a completely different team to what we've seen before, but is this just the one map that we have Org loses and takes the other three? That's the question, but so far, Team Biscuits look like they're putting up more than a fight than we have Org are used to. Haven't gotten control of this point yet here. They got close on the last map. Deadeye up for Lynx here. There's also the rally up that's going to quickly be popped here by Zergi. Deadeye can't find anybody yet, but it doesn't matter. Self-Destruct able to help get Sean P gone and Zergi able to find Philly. And so it's still even on either side, but the D.Va being lost could be considered maybe the bigger loss for the side of We Have Org. But Deadeye here from IDXD able to take out Valmaster. So still a chance here for We Have Org to finish this one off as they keep finding elimination. Didn't matter that Transcendence was popped 
as they will finally get the flip here, but 56% built up to 14 biscuits. And Kanga Kanga retains that uh, Zanyara or that transcendence. And Kara will have the sound barrier for the next fight as well. So we have Org, they're looking at if they play this right at about 60% before TM Biscuits can really make that good recontest. They don't have any huge ultimates other than Rotten's Diva Bomb to find those massive picks. So they've got to take it nice and slow, find those picks one at a time. A lot of set plays in this composition. And they just don't have it, but Fillion, he moves forward, it doesn't matter. Midna gets caught out. Way too late was the transcendence on that one to get him caught out. Valmaster gets booped towards the hole, but he uses his primal rage to get right back into this one as he's just continuing to displace players, finds himself a Brigitte to force into a corner, and they get the switch back over for T and Biscuits, and they clean up whoever was left, but the couple do get out, Kara speed boosting them away. Both defensive ultimates are down on We Have Org now, as well as Lynx goes ever so low. The quick armor pack will keep him alive in this situation. Another couple of bobs slick past his head. Oof, that must be loud as those sort of sling past his ears. We Have Org, however, they're going to have the rally coming to this next fight. Filion does not have it, so it'll be added armor to burn through. Again, Team Biscuits needs to have to go for a quick burst on one of these major targets in the front line. If they get Minikunga, he's not going to be able to use his trance. He's so close to it and was so low. Deadeye comes out from IDX. He does get the Diva out, finishes it off as well, as they do find the kills needed to retake this point. But it's 95% where it's at for Team Biscuits. So one more fight win for them, and they can have this. And they did have to use alts for Weaborg. Absolutely. And the rally came out. And as you can see on the top right of your screen, a lot of the armor was stripped away from some important targets like Kanga Kanga and Kara, the two defensive supports on the side of We Have Borg. Team Biscuits are coming back in so with Transcendence, Diva Bomb. They have a lot to work with here, but Lynx, he's got to be careful because this team is looking for him. Kanga Kanga using his Transcendence a little bit later. Lynx, though, looking for this Deadeye, and that's what we've been staying on here. Zergi, though, finds Fillion. In the meantime, nothing for the Deadeye from Lynx because everybody was just too far away from him. So that fight being so far away could spell disaster, but good for T and Biscuit, or for We Have Org, ex excuse me, Mitna and Kara with, those envir with the environmental kill there for Kara as well, getting Webster. They're going to hold on here. They're going to probably be around 85, 90% before you can have T and Biscuits come back in. I'm pretty sure I uh, just said that Kara didn't have a defensive ultimate, but here we are looking at him. He's <laughs> already got that sound barrier. What an impressive amount of damage and healing he put in during that fight. Now, TM Biscuit's going to be really careful. Diva Bomb has to be huge, and there's no Deadeye to combo with it to force We Have Organ to unfairal positions. Self-destruct doesn't go far enough. If that went a little bit further, that could have been bad, but they get the sound barrier up instead. IDX, the forced oh, away, won't be back. able to use his ultimate. Self-destruct onto the point, just pushes people away. Nobody gets caught into it. So, so far, ultimates haven't worked for either team. Sean P, though, able to get Roten out of map. That's a good start for the side of we have Org. Lynx, though, still desperately trying to keep his team in this one, putting some damage out onto the Winston. Transcendence committed here to keep everybody moving forward. Lynx able to get the Brigitte, so oh, it's still a chance for Tier Biscuits, but they're IDXD getting Fillion. So this one's still so Can close, it's which McCree can do more. Sean P getting Lynx, though, as this one will oh. end up being taken by We Have Org. We're going to map number three. That was so close, though. There were still some people left alive for DNP. They couldn't get back on the map, onto the point. Whew. Wow. That was impressive. TM Biscuits just played very, very well towards the end there. You did have Lynx in great positions at great times, took out both the Brigitte and the Zenyatta, but no one else was left on the team. This front line from TM Biscuits has been shutting down so quickly by We Have Org. The Brigitte is always there to catch Valmaster as he jumps in, and Rodden is just split away from his team so very often. We Have Org seem to have this pat the them patted down on TM Biscuits, right? They know their play style, playing around Lynx a lot. Now, this is a completely different type of map while Bosco on Ruins. We're going to see a lot more of links with these long sight lines, and Valmaster will be backing him up for sure. And you're just seeing the standard 3-3 here with Zenyatta for the GOATS comp that we see from We Have Org. So see if that Widowmaker will be able to get those headshots in onto this beefy lineup that you have coming out on the other side. They're actually just going to completely go back to spawn, it looks like. They're going to just completely change their comp here is what it seems to be. So they're going to give up early control that we have ARG, and that's super tough, and you're going to be a little bit behind as far as ultimate, but not massively. Yeah, they didn't want to give up too much ultimate charge by losing the first fight. They ought to just change round quickly instead. The Zenyatta here is not going to have as much of an effect, but off goes to Yang, just one of the players. Actually does, yeah, gets Fillion. 
Kara is so good at getting those boops off on the, the Lucio, as that's sort of what starts the domino effect here, as Team Biscuits now have to just reconvene at spawn to try and get back together. But ultimate, you know, didn't give up too much ultimate percentage because nobody's too close. Kanga Kanga, though, going to be very close to getting his transcendence, and that could be a big difference maker in this next fight. Berzergi, look, he's 62% here on the Zarya already, down to 22% on Lynx, and they will find them in this close corner. A huge fire strike comes through. Able to get Roten out of mech, so getting that D.Va out, very good start. Just don't have some of that utility that's available and the damage that can come out from a D.Va as well. Very high charge is Zergi, close to getting all the way up to his alt as well. Out comes the Earth Shatter though on the other side. And Mini Kanga able to take Midna out in the meantime. Now quickly throwing in the self-destruct here and using the Graviton Surge on either side. Ultimate's flying either way as sound barriers come out to keep both these teams alive. The good thing here for We Have Org, even if they end up losing this fight, they're still building up percentage here as now the Graviton Surge comes out from T and Biscuits. And now they're finally going to get control here, but took so much. Looks like 72% is where it'll be for We Have Org. Wow. Well, uh, Team Biscuits managed to find to get it back. Still, Lynx is behind on Old Charge to Zergi, but not by as much as before. Team Biscuits, they were just worried. They were having a bad time. They were down on all economy and all this. Also, if you are wondering, Zergi's uh, POV does look a bit odd. That's because he's playing with a trackball. The guy is crazy. <laughs> so, so what we've heard from uh, from Leg Day the other day, if you watched any of the Gilded Gala, he actually mentioned that on Valmaster uses. Oh, he doesn't get the Earth Shatter off. He got hit by the stun from the Brigitte, so that stops it. Great shield bash, and now you see everybody going forward for the side of We Have Orcs. They have theirs available. They use it. They don't get anything for it either. We're able to avoid the self-destruct here. Transcendence out keeps everybody alive on point as well. Zergi getting Philly in down two. As Zergi looking for his next target. Looks like he's going on to the diva as his next one keeps his reinhardt up with the shield roten does manage to get that and finds another one too so roten able to get a few to keep t and biscuits into this fight links on the zarya here so very high, high charge time. and getting a lot of damage out they're still Finally building up. it's crazy that <laughs> car with another one here the transcend or sorry the the sound barrier committed though onto the graviton surge used by sergi they're not able to get this over for we have or even though they were starting to get some numbers advantage they get forced back do have Three ultimates coming out from We Have Orc here. The most important being the Shatter and the Diva Bomb. There are so many set plays you can do here. Drop the Diva Bomb and charge the Rhino afterwards, or even invest the Earth Shatter as well. And it has to be done quickly now. 81% and climbing. You do not want to give percentage over at this point to a GOAT composition that can just get so much charge. A massive Diva Bomb will take down Sean Perodin. Both self-destructs got something, but Midna getting more with his Earth Shatter and swinging that hammer, and they will retake this 94% on the side for T and Biscuits. We have Org now building up almost to 80. We're in final fight territory. There is 1% difference between Lynx and Zergi here. We have Org retained so much armor from that last fight. There's going to be so much to eat through here, and T and Biscuits got to do it quick. It will depend on who gets the Graviton first and holds them off the point, as they are at 90% now. We are pushing in slowly but surely, but they mix the Graviton. Oh no! Didn't find anybody, but they are still able to get Webster in the meantime. They do have two defensive alts that are up here, and they actually layer both of them to make sure they keep everybody alive. Graviton Surge though comes out a little bit afterwards, and now they will pop their trance. Only problem is everybody's starting to fall for the side of Team Biscuits. They still have the Reinhardt on point. He gets charged oh into, gets taken out. What a great play here. Overtime meter starting to tick down, just getting back on his Webster. Self-Destruct finds one here, and now you just have one character left alive in the Lucio to start. They come back on. Oh, they're getting pushed too far away and not able to get on point was the Hammond. And this will be the win for We Have Org, but it was not easy.